Shit Camry, part 28. I've been having some problems with fuel pressure for quite some time. I initially found it uh, when I saw that I had to add in too much fuel into that fuel table there. I initially thought it was maybe a leaking fuel hose, or maybe the fuel pump couldn't keep up. Or maybe there was a blockage in one of the hoses. Or maybe the regulator itself can't keep up with it. So what I actually found is that I'm not getting enough rising fuel pressure. You can see here with 16 psi of boost, I should have something like 65 psi of fuel. But I've only got about 50, so something's not quite right. So it turned out that it's actually the Tomei fuel pressure regulator itself. I decided to cut it open to see what was going on inside. See if we could learn anything from it. Once opening it, you can see I've got the hat. Everything looks relatively normal there. No damage or anything in there. There is a bit of dust and whatnot that seems to have made its way into the system. You got the spring and the hat and the little retainer part. And the diaphragm itself actually looks fine. Nothing actually looks like there's anything wrong with the uh, diaphragm itself. It's got a steel ball bearing, just like the new AEM regulator that I've got. But what I did notice though, is that that little steel ball isn't actually pressing into the center of the seat on that part there. So my thought is, possibly it's not sealing down all the way when the boost pressure blows the diaphragm in, which means that it's not going to rise the fuel pressure correctly. That's my theory anyway. You can see there the hole is not quite in the center where the little ball is being pushing down. So I've replaced it with this AEM fuel pressure regulator. It's got a Honeywell fuel pressure sensor on it, which goes straight back to the ECU as well. Here's the diaphragm from inside the AEM. It's got a much larger ball, and you can see it's got a steel seat as well, opposed from the aluminium one in the Tomei rig. So what we can see here, here's a half speed uh, pull. And you can see as the boost increases, you can see that the fuel pressure is increasing nicely as well. This took me about eight months to figure out, just pottling around on the weekends. And I can't believe I finally figured it out. What a pain in the ass.